Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn some more information about the strings. So in the tutorial about the strings, I think the 50th video, you know, where I have learned how to create a string, how to concatenate some values to the string and also how to compare two strings using the equal to operator and also, you know, how to copy one string to another. So here in this tutorial, we're going to learn some more information about the strings. So first of all, you know, we're going to create the string using the class name, which is string and then the object name data. So here, since this data is an object of this class string, you know, we have a variety of ways of initializing this data. For example, we can pass directly a string value to the constructor of this string class. And let's say learning lat, you know, this data variable is initialized with the value learning lat. So now, you know, since this data is an object of the string class, we have a lot of member functions available from this string class. For example, uh, data and then the dot operator to access the member functions. And uh, you guys can see we have append, assign, at begin capacity clear you know all these member functions are available in the string class so here uh, in this tutorial i'm going to show you some of them so now we're going to use the cout to print out the string you know which is data and let's end this line all right the next thing that we're going to do is we can append to this string using the append method so it's going to be data dot append and the string that we want to append so here we want to append a space and then rocks all right now if i print out this string again you know i'm going to copy this and paste it here you know the string will be appended now you guys can see learning lad learning lad rocks and then we have the functions like size you know which is gonna return the length of this string so i'm gonna use c out and I'm going to use data dot size you know it returns the length of the string and here if I save this and build and run this you know you guys can see 18 the length of the string learning lad rocks and then we have the methods like insert you know which allows us to insert some characters or strings to this string for example let's insert data dot insert so we're going to insert from the beginning, let's say we're going to insert the in the beginning of this learning lad. So first we need to specify the position where we want to insert from the zeroth position we want to insert. And then we have to specify what we want to insert. We want to insert the and then a space. Now I'm going to save this and I'm going to copy this say out and paste it here again. And I'm going to build and run this. Now you guys can see the learning lad rocks and similarly we have other methods such as sub str which is to get the substring from the string for example let's a mm, data dot sub str and we want to get the strings or the substring and this uh, learning lad rocks which is present in this data whatever the string is there from the fifth position onwards we want that that's why i'm going to specify for that and let's end this line and build and run it and now you guys can see learning lad rocks you know which is after the fourth position one two three and then the space four and similarly you can uh, use other versions of this substring master and you know get the appropriate substrings that you want in your programs and then we have uh, another method called um, Arrays, you know, which is gonna arrays the strings. For example, let's say data dot arrays, and we want to arrays. Let's say the first uh, the, you know, which we have inserted, which is present in the zeroth position, and uh, we want to arrays four characters, you know, the and then the space. So it's gonna be zero, and then uh, let's say four, and then uh, I'm just gonna copy this C out and paste it here. And I'm gonna build and run this so now you guys can see that the you know has been deleted or you know it's been erased and if I change this one to one one to four and then if I build and run T is there and then H E space and L is removed and that's why we get you know T then uh, turning lad rocks all right 
now uh, similarly we have uh, some other methods available in uh, the string class and you know i can't explain all those in detail so i want you guys to have a look at the string class you know by searching in the google and uh, you know learn you know what a uh, method is going to do in that string class so this is it guys this is about some information on the string class and uh, thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial